Well, YouTube, I'm back. A little more Friday philosophy on a Saturday afternoon. I uh, was going to do a video last night, but we had another pretty vicious thunderstorm roll through, and uh, it just didn't happen. But if you can see over my shoulder here, that's what a 70 mile per hour sustained wind can do to a little aluminum shed. Had it not been for all the crap jammed inside with that shed would have been blocks away after last night's wind. Um, it was pretty crazy stuff. About once, twice a year we get something like this that blows through and uh, does quite a bit of damage. There's tree limbs down, entire trees down, um, falling on cars, on houses, things like that. But uh, even last night at 7.30, 8 o'clock, people were already in cleanup mode. It was kind of fun to watch. Um, I didn't get any damage here, I'm pretty fortunate, but uh, one of the interesting things is that people, uh, I'm going to say about half the town lost power last night, and it's a town of 25,000, uh, but people were outside and actually talking to another, uh, one another. Uh, pretty rare sight to see these days. So, you know, even with all of the damage and bad things that happened, uh, at least people got outside and talked to one another. It was, uh, it was refreshing, I guess, at least at that point. But uh, this morning at 8.30, chainsaws were out, people are hauling branches to the local uh, dump, and uh, life is pretty much back to normal already with a few, you know, exceptions. Um, nevertheless, uh, crazy night last night, and now today we settle in for some good old College World Series. You can probably see my uh, Oregon State Beavers hat. I picked this up at the CWS uh, a few years back, probably six, eight years ago. Um, we absolutely love the College World Series here in, in the Omaha, Nebraska area. Um, hopefully you guys... Uh, if you're baseball fans, you tune into some of the games. Um, it's pretty remarkable to see how full the stands are on a Saturday afternoon first round game. Um, and to know that probably fully 60 to 70 percent of those people are from the Nebraska, Western Iowa area. Uh, we just, we come out for this event and uh, we pick teams based on matchups, not based on favorites most of the time. You know, you just, you get tickets to go when you can go and you enjoy who you're watching, and that's how I got the Beavers hat uh, a few years back. Also have a Tulane hat, an Oklahoma State hat, you know, um, try to pick one up whenever I go down there. But if you've never been um, and you're a baseball fan, I think this, is, this has got to be on your bucket list um, to come down and just take part in the the festivities, the festival atmosphere around the CWS. Uh, one of the other cool things about the CWS, in my opinion, are the opposing fans. Uh, LSU in particular, those guys, they're so used to coming up here because LSU is such a powerhouse baseball program that a lot of times they'll book rooms um, a year in advance. Uh, but they come down here and they they take over the College World Series and they are fun, they're friendly, um, some of the best best sports fans um, I've ever met anyways, the LSU baseball crew. So, uh, But all the fans are great um, this time of year except for Texas fans. Texas fans are still jerks, I don't know why that is. <laughs> hope, I don't, hope I don't have any Longhorn fans out there, but uh, there's just something about that Texas-Nebraska connection that uh, even when they come up here for College World Series, we just can't like them. Um, but I hope you get a chance to take in some baseball, even if it's, if it's just on TV. Uh, I'm going to probably go back in the house and uh, watch some baseball myself. The Cal State, uh, Oregon State game just started uh, a little while ago. And uh, first, though, I'm going to finish up my pipe here. Got a little Frog Morton cellar. Uh, picked that up yesterday, so this is kind of the test drive on that. And um, maybe a little heavier than I thought it'd be, um, but I, I think I'm liking it so far. So no matter who you are, or where you are. 
hope you have a great weekend and uh, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Um, hope you can kick back and relax a little this weekend. We'll talk to you again soon.